with the exponential growth of social media, you had people famous for basically anything and they needed to find a way to cash out on that fame. Now, some people might say, well, well, you could just sell shout outs, story swipe ups, advertisements, do brand deals. But trust me, somewhere along the line, people realize, okay, that's cool, but it's fleeting. What's better to do is you already have people interested in you. Let's try to start a music career. Music is going to get generate a lot more income than if you were just a quote unquote influencer. Because again, whatever you went viral for and got those fans for, like it eventually just dissipates, right? So you see people like Bad Baby, she became a musician. Um, should you even see people like DDG? Not saying he was doing it for monetary purposes, but it, it, it is smart to kind of cross over from being a YouTuber, a TikToker, to doing music. Just money wise, let me tell you this. I think, and I'm using publicly available things. DDG had tweeted out, I think that he made like a million dollars on like YouTube for, for a year, right? A million dollars in music, if you're semi lit, you can make that in three months, three, four months. Again, he has to upload three videos a day, three or four videos a day to his channels, grind it out. Now, at the end of the year, he's getting a million or like barely a million. Every single day he's been uploading a video a day. You get to be, you get in the rap game, you do one tenth of the work and probably get three times the amount of profit. That's why, that's why I'm telling you why so many clouded people go to rap. Rap is cashing out on the cloud. That's it. There's a new way to cash out on the cloud. It's boxing. Jake Paul, he tried music and he did good. He got a platinum plaque from a song that was kind of, a lot of people say bad, but truth be told, it did a lot of views. Everyday bro. He did songs with Gucci Man. From what I heard, he paid Gucci Man a hefty fee to do that. He was really trying that music. He hired teams on teams and he was really trying to get this going on. And by the way, I still hear he puts out music. Here's the thing. Jake Paul has never seen as much money as he's seen with boxing. Boxing is the new way that a lot of people are running to to cash out on fame, success, and clout. Jake Paul tweeted out that the fight with him and Ben Askren, which I'll speak about a little bit more in depth, Nigga was a stiff. Ben Askren? If you saw, the dude walked in the ring with, with like, the, like he had a mini roll. Nigga, I got the same thing. The nigga body type wasn't that much different than mine. He walked into a boxing ring with that body. When he should have been training for the last three to six months. He looked like a math teacher. Got knocked out the first round. And by the way, after he got knocked out, the nigga was all smiles, not one tear. He was happy. You know why? He knew he knew what it, what it was. Catch that quick L. You get half a million dollars for 30 seconds or no, it was a minute and 18 seconds of work. And people keep going. Jake Paul, who, by the way, which, you know, watching your trailer has some real dope shit. Snoop Dogg, part owner. Everybody you saw in any capacity last night were part owner. You probably think, yo, last night was more star-studded than any award show I've seen in a while. You got Snoop Dogg hosting. Ric Flair shows up. Justin Bieber performs. You got all type of other performers that are lit. You have just people all over the place. You have motherfucking, was it Pete Davidson? He's, the people you're seeing 85 or probably 90% of them, they own part of Trilla. Trilla did the dopest thing. Something that Clubhouse should probably think about doing. Strategic partners with celebrities who make your shit lit. Snoop don't got to tell them, oh, give me a million dollars to host the shit. Snoop owns part of Trilla. 
Jake will only ever fight on Triller. Jake owns parts of Triller. This is facts. 21 owns parts of Triller. 21 Savage. Lil Wayne owns parts of Triller. There's so many people, like, they, 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 they did business with the creators who could make shit lit, something that most companies don't do. So that's why last night, if you watch it, they had all types of shit going on. Like, I seen people criticizing it. I thought it was entertaining. Bro, you saw Justin Bieber was treated like it was his concert. You had Doja Cat. You had Sweetie. You had Too Short. You had E-40. You had <coughs> Snoop Dogg. You had actors. You had wrestlers. You had everybody. And they probably had to pay little to no money because... Everybody has an incentive to show up because you own part of the platform. These new platforms, they just take money. They don't really do strategic partners. And that's why I give Triller a lot of credit for. Like Clubhouse should have done that. You should have gave ownership part ownership to all the niggas on there that was making it lit. You look on you look on Clubhouse these days, is Meek on there? Nope. 21, not that much. Joe, Joe Bun, not at all. The game, not that much. Basically, all these niggas were on there trying to figure out what the fuck was going to happen. None of them got ownership because, like, most of these fucking companies don't realize what made them lit. Triller knows this is pop culture. You're, or, or not even pop culture. This is clout culture. They want to cash out on clout culture. They gave everybody with some clout and celebrity ownership. Anyway, I don't think the fight was rigged, and we're probably going to get into the fight a little bit. But it was definitely in the benefit of Triller, in the benefit of all the investors for Jake to win. They're not going to put him against, I don't know, Canelo Alvarez for him to get knocked out. They're building something. They got somebody who's an absolute stiff, they did their homework on the dude. They fooled people because people are like, oh, he's finally going to get up because this dude's a real fighter. If you read the jacket on the dude who he was fighting, the dude was one of the worst boxers ever. He was a great wrestler, but he could never strike. He could, can't box. So what he's really good at, he can't do in the fight. Also, he's older. Also, he hasn't had a fight in a while. They did their research. He had a dad bod. Okay, great. We're going to give him a short amount of time to train. Jake's been really in the ring since he kind of got into it like three years ago, much younger. We're going to f*** him up. I put money on that fight, chat. I put $5,000, and I won 